Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday Morning Bible Study. Today we are going to discuss Romans 5, verses 1 to 10. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Amen. Amen. So what, what words stand out for you as we begin? Justified through faith. Amen. His grace. With grace. Peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hope does not put us to shame. Amen. Gained access by faith. Perseverance. Glory of God. Um, yes. God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Christ died for the ungodly. Ungodly. And hope does not put us to shame. Amen. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God's love has been poured out into our heart <clears throat> through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who Amen. has been given to us. Shall we be saved through his life? Just at the right time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Christ died for the ungodly. For the ungodly. Reconciled. Justified by his blood. Amen. Would somebody like to read it again? I'll read it. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because... We know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though know, for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son. How much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Amen. 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 So what is this saying? What is this saying to us? There's a lot, a lot here as always. Amen. Justified through faith. Peace with God. So I'm anchored, I'm anchored on one scripture and then I'm curious about another, verse five. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. I'm anchored there. 
And mm-hmm. it's a beautiful thing that, you know, hope does not put us to shame. But right. then I'm curious about, where is it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. Verse seven, very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. Isn't right, I, like righteous seems at a higher level than a good person, but rarely will anybody die for a righteous person, but somebody might die for a good person. I'm confused there. So that's where those two scriptures. No, that, that, I, appreciate, I appreciate that. And remember throughout the Bible, those that are righteous are held in less, in the world, were held in less esteem than really? those who are good. So, so that, you know, people look down on those of us who have faith, who believe in Christ, right? Wow. We were shunned. We were, we, we, we've been, been persecuted. We've wow. been embarrassed. And so uh, I'm not going to die for a righteous person. This, this, this Jesus freak, I'm not going to die uh, for that person, but I'm going to die that for holy roller. <laughs> that holy roller. That holy roller. Yeah, the holy roller. And, and so, but we're proud holy rollers. We're proud. Right, Jesus right. Amen. And so, so uh, that's part of the problem in the world. Is that they hold in? Just think about today. They hold us in self esteem. Let me tell you something. Gospel music, religious music, would be the most popular music in the world if the record companies really wanted to make it that. Mm-hmm. Think about it. Mm-hmm. But this, this, you know, sinful, you know, misogynistic music they put out. Mm-hmm. But I, I would guarantee that the spiritual music would, without question, be the most popular music in the world. Amen on that. But you can't control righteous people. That's the problem. Oh, that's that's key right there, Pastor. You yep. can't control because here's the thing: they're not our God. We only yep. have one exactly. God. Exactly. Got exactly. it. Got they, it. Exactly. Got M- it. Money is not our God. Got Naomi, it. Naomi, you're going to say something? No, I was going to say it would be the, the the most popular music because it's anointed. You know, God's exactly. spirit is upon it. So it, yes. this music would speak to the spirit of the person. And Amen. that's why it would be the most popular one. But like you said, they can't control us, you know, and make money off us. Exactly right. We're unpredictable. We're peculiar people. Exactly. That's, oh, that's but, good. Yep. Yeah, but, but, but also think about whether you believe in, in cannabis or psychedelic drugs, but those come from nature. Those are illegal. God's st- things that come from from nature are illegal, but the man produced things that opioids that are killing right. us are legal. Right. Right. So so anything connected to God, they can't make money on. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And that's the problem with the world. And so we oh. need to step up to to really be 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 vigilant in our faith and open in our faith. What else stands out for you? This is, and we boast, we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Yes, we do, because there is always hope. There's so much depression in the world. There's so much, mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, if those of us who believe, there's so much against us to sh- try to put us in that in that position of disbelief, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so we lose hope. And when we lose hope, we lose faith. So mm. very important um, line, I think, that we boast in the hope of the glory of God. God is there for us. We just have to continue to recognize that. But, but it still builds on what we were just talking about, this idea of hope putting us to shame. Mm-hmm. If you have hope in Christ, you're, you're put to shame in some sectors in society, right? Mm-hmm. But God's love has been poured out through the Holy Spirit. So, so even if people shame us for having hope in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit's going to help us through that. Yeah. The best thing I've ever heard about hope is hope never abandons us. We abandon hope. Amen. Amen. That is so true. Hope is there for the taking. But it's ignored. Mm. Rejoice in our sufferings. Because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, mm-hmm. character, and character hope. Exactly. Powerful no, statement. No pain, no gain. Those of you who work out know this idea of no pain, no gain. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that's how you grow. Be, but to rejoice in it, that's the hard yeah. part. You mm-hmm. know, that's, 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 I, I went through that. That's so hard to, to actually rejoice in it. It's one thing to endure it, <coughs> but to rejoice in it. 
to really mm -hmm. have that peace to the level where you're able to rejoice in it. That's mm -hmm. hard. It's hard. It's hard, but it's satisfying when you do it. And it's possible through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. As I said, I mean, I've I've written two books on the Holy Spirit because that is everybody talks about God and Jesus, but we don't we don't spend enough time with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The uh, this Holy Spirit is going to get us through. True. You know, and so um, um, we just we need to turn to this Spirit. Verse eight, but God demonstrates His own love for us in this: while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I heard it said another way. God did all of that for maybe. There was no mm -hmm. guarantee that we mm -hmm. would ever accept him. He did it mm -hmm. on a maybe. Well, and 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 but that's the love. That, that's that's a, the a, love. That's the love that uh, you know, um, there are no guarantees in life. There are no guarantees, but God knows that if we open our hearts, we will do the right thing. True. The trouble is people don't open their hearts. But even though he died on the maybe, it says Christ died for the ungodly. He knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. True. He didn't. He didn't say we would change, but he just said, "I'm gonna step out." That that's that's that hope. He stepped out in the hope and faith for us, the ungodly. Amen. Amen. Well, somebody and like then reading. made us, and then and then justified us. They justified us. You know, yes. and put us in a place of right standing with God, where we're justified. Justified by this His blood. Just as if we're 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 just we're cleansed by His blood, right? So we're mm -hmm. justified and cleansed by His blood, so Amen. so that we're faultless as far as in the sight of God through our intent of the heart, because the intent yes. of our heart He weighs our spirit and the intent of the heart, not so much our deeds, because as long as we're in this flesh, we're gonna we're gonna always fall. Mm -hmm. But but He looks at the intent of the heart, and He He counts us as justified, as righteous, as holy. Amen. Amen. Would somebody like to read it a final time? Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, Though a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, oh, oh, oh. Christ died for us. Since we now have been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through death of his son, how much more have been reconciled shall we be saved through his life? Amen. Amen. So what do we take away from this? I, I, I love that, you know, suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character and character hope. So if we're suffering, that's our, that's our, our workout, workout from God. Cause there's always hope. It's just like the faith and the hope, the hope we have through that faith. Mm -hmm. Like the song, the choir sings, God will work it out. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely. What else do we take away today? We have been justified through faith. Mm -hmm. Justified through faith. Yeah. And justified by the blood. And we are not God's enemies anymore. <laughs> right. Right. In that first verse, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And therefore, we can come boldly to the zone of grace because of those things. Mm -hmm. And we have access by faith into this grace. 
we have access. It's there for us. The door's open. Do we walk through? That's the question. Do we want to walk through the door that God has opened for us? God's love has been poured out mm -hmm. into our hearts. Mm -hmm. What else? What else stands out? We were reconciled to him. Reconciled to him, yeah. Yeah. We always have hope. No matter the suffering that mm -hmm. we go through, there's always hope. Yes. Yes. So this is everything we need. This is all we need. It's just justified through faith and hope and love. So going forward today, we want to uh, to, to, to think about that, to reflect on, on, on our perseverance through our sufferings, that it's building character. Whenever we're facing something difficult, this is, this is God building our character. And that character is going to give us the hope. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we often want the easy way. God, just give me hope. Just give me faith. But we've got to work for it. It's not sustainable. You know, one of the best things that I heard someone say about, you know, the, you know, all those lottery winners, they go bankrupt. They weren't ready to be millionaires. You have to go through suffering. You have to understand how to manage money, how to do this. And we, as, as we grow, you know, we're not ready so often to be faithful believers in Christ. We have to go through those sufferings. We have to understand that. There's no easy path. It's work. Everything good is work. And so I think that's that's really what we're hearing here is that we have to be willing to put in the work as we enter this new year to um, to, to have access by faith to the grace. Anything else stand out? And I think we should we should remember always that he has given us the Holy Spirit, our helper and our teacher in everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that, the, the Holy Spirit is so powerful and it's so easy to to overlook it as we read the Bible and, and pray to God and, and worship Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. What Christ said, he sent the Holy Spirit to guide us, to hold our hand through mm -hmm. all of this. Yeah. The, it's a reminder to me the glory in, in us and my suffering. Um, because that's where I'm at right now. So glory in my suffering. Amen. To um to know that um there's a purpose, there's a plan that all things work together for my good. Yeah. And for me just to rely on the power of the Holy Spirit to take me through the suffering. Yes. Um, because there's glory in it. Well said, Naomi. Very well said. Well in.